Hello, and welcome to the third part of our tutorial series. In this part, we are going to set up a studio for our bottle and work on lighting. So, without any further ado, let's get started. If I start a V-Ray viewport IPR here, we'll see where we left off last time. So now, if I go in the left viewport here, by pressing L, and then go into Shapes, choose Line, and let's create a shape similar to this one. Something like this. Go to Modify, choose Vertex, select these vertices, and then let's fill it them. Like this. Okay, nothing comes up here in the V-Ray IPR, because this line is just a shape, and it's not renderable yet. But I will go here, into Rendering section, and check Enable in Renderer and Enable in Viewport. Set it as Rectangular and let's set the length. Something like this. Maybe larger. Okay. Let's set it a width of 2 centimeters. Let's see. And move it a little bit down, so it just barely touches our bottle. Like this. Okay. Now, let's start the IPR again, because it is frozen now. This happens sometimes. Go to perspective view, and maybe make this line a little bit wider. Okay. Now, I don't want this studio of ours to be visible in the reflections of the bottle, but I would like to keep the shadows that it catches. So I'm going to right-click on the object. Go to V-Ray Properties, and uncheck Visible in Reflections. Great. So now, you can see that the object is no longer visible in the reflections, here at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, now let's set up a camera. I will go to the front view here, and then press P for perspective. Let's uncheck V-Ray Viewport IPR for now, and zoom in. Let's say we are happy with this angle here. I'll go to Create, Cameras, go to V-Ray, V-Ray Physical Camera, and click and drag anywhere in the scene, to create a camera. Then, go back to the perspective view by right-clicking it. And, with the camera still selected, press Ctrl-C. Now, the camera moves into our point of view. To see through the camera, we'll have to press C. So, we have our camera set up now. Let's go right here, and choose Select Camera, and make sure the camera is on zero on the x-axis. Go up here again, and choose Select Camera Target and make sure this one is at zero as well, thus making sure our bottle is in the middle of the view. Now, let's open rendering settings, by pressing F10. And, also open material editor, by pressing M. Okay. Let's create a material for all objects for now. Let's choose this one. Go to get material. Choose open here. And choose a V-Ray material. Let's make sure it's almost white, but not quite. Okay. Then go to the V-Ray tab. Global switches, check this override material button. And drag this material we just created, into this slot here. As an instance. So now, if we render our scene, you will see that all the objects have this material applied to them. But, our setup is too dark. So, let's start IPR again, here. The first thing we'll do is to increase the multiplier on our HDR map that we've created earlier. So, let's say I'm going to choose here, 3. You'll see the scene is getting a little bit brighter. Let's choose 3 on the rendering multiplier as well. Still, this is not enough. Let's select the camera, and go to the Modify tab, and, just like using a real photo camera, to get more light into the sensor, we're going to open up our aperture, let's say, to 4. 
that's much better already, but let's also keep the shutter speed open for 100 of a second. Okay, that's much better. And, to get more contrast from our HDRI map, let's set inverse gamma to 0.7. Maybe 0.75. Okay, this looks good. Let's close the V-Ray viewport IPR for now. Open rendering settings again. Let's set up our rendering now. Let's say we're gonna choose a custom size of 2000 by 2000 pixels. And for previewing purposes, we're gonna choose bucket with two minimum subdivisions. And let's say six for maximum. I will go for brute force and light cache. And set the light cache to 1500. Okay, let's render and see what we have for now. I'm going to fast forward the video here because it's going to take a few minutes. Let me get back to you after that. Okay, I've noticed our camera is not properly set up, so the bottle is too small in the frame. So, I'm pressing Shift F to see the safe frame, and now let's select the camera, and let's give it a focal length of 85 millimeters, and a zoom factor of 3, maybe 5.5. Yeah, this looks right. Then, select camera target, and drag a little bit lower on the Z-axis. Okay. Now let's render the image again, by pressing F9. Okay, our rendering is done now. I'm quite happy of how our lighting came out. I like the highlights in here, and the shadow casting on the right. I know it may look a little bit burnt here, but we'll fix that if necessary in the next tutorial when I'm going to show you how to set up some nice material for the cap, which will be a black plastic and a nice label material, as well as a beautiful glass material for the glass itself. Before we go, let's just save our work. In the next video, I will show you how to create beautiful materials for our project and render some extra elements in order to post-process the image later in Photoshop. If you like what I try to do here, please like my video, Post in the comments if there's something I've missed, or if you'd like me to tackle other subjects in 3D. Please share my video, subscribe if you want to, and see you in the next one. Bye.